you, you, you're developing a plan of evaluation first and try to involve stakeholders from the beginning. Yes, very good practice to help use the findings at the end of the evaluation process. It's very clear from a lot of the research that's been done that um, you don't get good impact, you don't get good uptake of, of evaluation reports by working quietly and secretly on it and then coming out with a report. That actually identifying the people you want to use it and involving them from the beginning um, is, is very helpful. Um, however, it's not always easy um, because you have an evaluation of the special system for the protection of children and adolescents. So some recommendations for this phase. Well, the, the issue here is distinguishing between stakeholders, if that's anyone who has a stake in it, and intended users um, who are a particular type of stakeholder. So um, the children themselves, their advocates, uh, they are all stakeholders. They, they have a tremendous stake in the program being of good quality and you certainly want to involve their perspective. Um, so a number of the, um, in terms of them, a number of the methods for involving children in evaluations would be really helpful then. Um, and because and it's not just about collecting data from them, but really getting their advice on what are good methods. What are good methods to look at the quality of services? Not what's your opinion of the service, how should we find out about the quality of the service? So that you can actually involve them in as providing technical advice that could be part of your, your advisory group, not necessarily going to a meeting, but providing advice on, on how to, how to um, collect data and how to make sense of the data um, and how to challenge the data and get behind um, what might be an official story to what's actually going on. So I think you can, you can work with them um, through a lot of those processes and there's good examples in those materials. Um, in terms of other stakeholders, I mean, it's, it's, it's about identifying who's going to use it. Um, absolutely, personally, who that person is and trying to engage them in those that decision making from the beginning. Because it's critically important that the information you gather is going to be credible to them. I mean, if you get to the end of it and they say, oh yes, but you use this indicator and we, don't, we know the data's not good. Well, you've wasted your time altogether. So you've got to get buy-in from them, the intended users. They have to sign off on your data collection that this is going to be credible. Um, so I certainly do that.